tragedy strikes, accidents happen. Be there when the calls come in. It's back-to-back -back episodes of Rescue 911, next on Discovery Health Channel. Today on Rescue 911, when a mother collapses, her only chance for survival is her five year old daughter. On the next Rescue 911. <laughs> Follow unsung heroes saving lives and witness courage and compassion in action. Okay, I'll be in the back. I'm going to be in the back of the ambulance waiting for you. Paramedics, next on Discovery Health Channel. On May 6th, 1991, in Dearborn Heights, Michigan, Mary Jane Westenberg was home alone with her three-week-old baby and her five-year-old daughter, Stephanie. My mom went to lay down, and she couldn't lay down because she couldn't breathe. I can't catch my breath. She switched to side to side so she could breathe a little bit better. And then she said, Stephanie, my mama's gonna be sick. <coughs> my mom was getting worse, so she told me to call 911. <laughs> I ran out here and unlocked the door and turned on the lights so they knew that this was the house. At 11.37 p.m., 911 dispatcher Ken Sirotowski took the call. Dear one night's emergency. Hey, um, my mom is feeling just and my sister's calling. When she first started talking, I couldn't understand what the child was saying. Okay, I can't, you, you said your mom was beat? No, my mom is having chest pain. Okay, she needs an ambulance over there? Yes. Okay, are you calling me from... That's pretty severe when a small child has to use the 911. You, I'm going to get the rescue squad going, and then I'm going to come back to you, so stay on the line, okay? Okay. So as soon as she told me that her mother was having the chest pains, I put her on hold and made sure that the ambulance was on the way. Oh, God, Mom, I'm I could hear the baby crying in the back, and I was thinking if it was progressing into something worse, what am I going to have the small child do? Okay, is, is she still breathing and talking to you, or...? Yeah. Yes, she is. Okay. I was afraid a lot, so... Okay, is there any other adult there with you besides your mother? No. Okay, just take it easy. We're going to go help her. How old, okay. how old are you? Five and a half, when I found out she was five years old, I automatically started thinking about my family and nieces or nephews that are around that age. And the only thing that I could try to do is just reassure her that help was on the way. When you had the baby, Mama, three weeks ago. Okay, you said she just said she had a baby three weeks ago? Yes. When I found out she had the baby three weeks ago, I thought it was going to be related to the childbirth. So I typed the message on my computer and sent it back because I didn't want to put her on hold again. Is your mom still talking to you? Yes, she is. Okay. So where did you learn how to use 911? Did you learn it in school? Um, yes. Um, but I never used it before, so... That's okay. It's good that you used it because it's a lot faster for us. 
I was asking her questions because I figured if she started talking about things she could relate to, it would take her mind off of what was really going on. So what, what, what do you have, a little brother or a little sister? I have a little sister. A little sister? Uh-huh. You're going to have to help your mom take care of her now, you know that? Yeah. That brother seemed like a real nice man. He just talked to me a lot to make me talk better because I was crying. Is that your first little sister, or do you have any other brothers or sisters? First sister. That's your first one? Yeah. I have five. <laughs> I was really amazed she handled herself better than uh, a lot of the adult callers that we have. They're um, here, okay? They're here? Yeah. Okay, then we'll let them take care of it from here. Okay, bye. bye. Within four minutes, Dearborn Heights Fire Rescue arrived, including EMT Bill Branham. When we pulled up on the scene, we saw that the door was open, the lights were on, which was a big relief to us because, you know, we didn't have to waste time trying to break the door down, you know, or gain entry somehow. The ambulance came, and I felt real good because I knew that they were going to take real good care of my mom because... When I watch the TV show, it's always a happy ending. Among the rescuers who responded was EMT Dan Lamorand. My first impression walking into the room that this is a life-threatening problem, and that gets our wheels turning on to how we're going to handle the situation. The two things that really concerned me was, was her chest pain and her abdominal pain. In the back of my mind, I also thought that she possibly could have been hemorrhaging. Stephanie's grandmother, Barbara Keller, arrived five minutes after the rescue unit. Mary was already on the stretcher in the hallway, and she was in very obvious distress. On the way out, we stopped to let Mom say goodbye to her kids because she was real concerned about them. I hoped that it wouldn't be too serious. I hoped it would be something that could be taken care of. But I was prepared if it was the worst that I would... Um, do the best I could for the children. Okay, hon, just take some nice deep breaths there. Mary Jane Westenberg was taken to Garden City Hospital, where tests revealed she had suffered a gallbladder attack. I was worried that she was going to die that single night, but she didn't die, so my hope came true, and um, that's mostly all. Mary Jane underwent surgery to remove her gallbladder and has completely recovered. But if it weren't for her daughter Stephanie, things might have turned out differently. It's a very scary thought knowing that not only would you lose your kids, but that your kids would lose you at such a young age. On June 10, 1991, the city of Dearborn Heights presented an award to five-year-old Stephanie Westenberg for her heroism in helping to save her mom's life. Out of the whole thing, Stephanie is the hero. She was smart enough to help and not just be helpless on the phone. I learned if I ever have another problem, that I already know what to do for me and my whole family, which is called 911. Stephanie is my left hand, my right arm. She helps with everything. Of course, I still look at her, and she's still my little baby, but she'll always be known as my little hero. On your feet, muscle. Yes, slowly it down. Finish. We told her we knew that she was a dear little girl to us, and now everybody in the world knows it. Now you're gonna kick this one over the bar, okay? Go, kick, push up, add up, push up, push up, push up. I don't feel like a hero since I just feel like I saved my mom. Point your feet. Beautiful, yes. Next, step inside the command center where the calls for help are answered and meet the real-life heroes who save lives. Stay tuned for another episode of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Real life. Medicine. Miracles. Mr. Shapiro, step out of the car, please.